Hello. Good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back again to this channel. This next repair is a Sharp 60 inches LED TV model LC60 LE630M. Not turning on, and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. This channel shows how to repair TV and other electronic appliances. If you a beginner to learn in electronics, you came into the right channel. And please don't forget to like the videos and then subscribe to this channel. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Obviously, this IC is exploded. This is probably the reason why this TV is not turning on. Let's test these main capacitors if they are charged or not. They are charged with about 318 volts DC. We have to discharge it using this 220 ohms 20 watts resistor. It's very dangerous to work on the power board without discharging the capacitors. It's now discharged completely and safe to remove the power board and work on it. This is the standby 5 volt supply. Let's remove it. Adding soldering lead to sucking more of the soldering lead better.
I don't have TNY264PN, so I'll use again the STRW6053N. I have much stock with this IC because it works almost all of a PWM power supply. But I don't recommend using it if you are not in a hurry. I just want to finish my work fast with the use of the STRW6053N. Arranging the pins position of the STRW6053N to the right spot. Pin 1 of the STRW6053N is going to pin 5 of the TNY264PN, and a 0.33 ohms resistor is connected at pin 3 of the STRW6053N, going to pin 8 of the TNY264PN. STRW6053N pin 4 is going to pin 1 of the TNY264PN. Pins 5 and 7 are connected and going to pin 2 of the TNY264PN. And pin 6 is going to pin 5 of the TNY264PN. This is the resistor that is connected to pin 3 of the STRW6053N and pin 8 of the TNY264PN. A resistor that is connected at the positive of the main capacitor is open. Let's remove it.
it's 2.2 ohms, this is a fusible resistor. I have 2.2 ohms but not a fusible resistor and that is fine. Some power circuits use a fusible resistor, and some don't. A non-fusible resistor will also get open when a high current runs on it, but it creates a spark and smoke. A fusible resistor, don't. So it's okay to put a non-fusible resistor. As usual, I disconnect the main fuse and replace the 220 ohms 20 watts resistor. Let's try it. The standby 5 volts is present now. I don't see any more other defective components, so I solder back the main fuse. Let's put back the main power board and try if it will gonna turn on. The standby 5 volts is stable even though the main board is now connected. Yeah. Seems working now.
The STRW6053N is not generating heat. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. You can help my channel by liking the video and subscribing. You can also give a super thanks and that will be great. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.